Organization is more than a dream or an aspiration. It's what we have to do to survive as creative businesses. So how are you doing in keeping your business organized? Because I could use some tips. If you like today's video, please give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It really helps my channel if you do. That is, if you can find it. Hi, I'm John, and this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. As small businessmen and women, whether we like it or not, we have to be incredibly organized to do our jobs. As creatives, that may or may not be our biggest strength, but we have to find strategies to be as professionally organized as we possibly can in our entrepreneurial careers. We wear so many hats as small creative business owners that it can sometimes feel completely overwhelming, exhausting, and even demoralizing. There's just so much to do, and so little of those duties actually involve the creation of art or the furthering of my craft. And I know I've mentioned this before. I'm not doing this alone. I have a spouse that's in the business with me. How much harder must it be for those of you who are doing all of this alone? The sickening part for me is the knowledge that there are some of our number who seem to be able to get it all done and apparently with ease. What have they got that I ain't got? What's wrong with me? It's not that I'm envious of their success, but what is it about me that requires so much more work to achieve the same level of organization? Well, I'm here to tell you today that it doesn't matter at all where you're starting from. It really doesn't. The time to start is now, and the right place to be is precisely where you find yourself at this very moment. So what's the first step? That will depend upon where you are in the journey, but I think it's a great place to start if we do a quick inventory of the systems you already have in place and figure out if they're working for you. Once you've got that list completed, add to it all of the things that you'd like to be doing or that you know that you're not yet doing to make your business organization better. It doesn't have to be a sophisticated list, but give it some real time. And while that list is percolating in your brain, take an assessment of your physical workspaces. Do you have a dedicated place to do your business work? Or is everything done on the dining room table? If you have to move dishes, paintbrushes, or laundry in order to sit down and work? The answer to that question is probably no. Fix that. Make sure you have a small table, a corner of a room, an empty closet where you can set up your business operations. Make sure you can do everything for your business management from that space. Have a computer, a printer, paper, a pair of scissors, a stapler, pens, pads, tape, have that all at the ready. Do you use a file folder system? Have your file cabinets close by and don't block it with the exercise bike. You need to be able to file and retrieve files as your work progresses. I'm not concerned if the space is a bit junky as long as you have what you need within reach. If you find that you're having to get up from your workspace to sharpen a pencil, to find a paper clip for a document, then your workspace needs some updating. Once your workspace is organized, you might want to do the same with your creative space. Having an organized space helps immeasurably with morale as well as productivity. My guess is that we could all use a little bit more of both of those things. Well, let's get back to your systems inventory list. You've jotted down that you have really good website, that you're doing well in advertising online and through social media. You have a growing customer list and you produce a really cool monthly newsletter, like clockwork. You notice that you're really bad at keeping track of mileage and you have receipts and papers and stacks all around the office. 
you, you pretty much are aware of what is in each stack, but if somebody came and moved things around, you'd be lost. You also find that you spend a lot of time recreating statistical information that you did a month or two ago. Oh yes, and all of your artwork is titled and photographed, but every time there's an open call, you seem to recreate all the data for each piece of art, as well as for your artist statement and bio paragraph. You also fear passing of each quarter because you know that you're going to have to report your sales taxes. And it seems like every four months, you're starting from scratch. Great. Now that list may grow or shrink as the weeks go by, but this exercise gives you a really focused approach to creating the organizational systems you're going to need. Remember too, that most of these systems can be created without investing in loads of online subscription services. People ran businesses very effectively before there were light bulbs. So don't fall for all the hype. Those folks are in business too. Having said that, don't ever underestimate how automation can hugely impact your efficiency, your organization, and your sanity. I hesitated for years starting my business because I didn't know anything about accounting. I bought QuickBooks and I hired an accounting firm and it, all that angst went away. Granted, the accountants are the largest monthly expense I have after rent, but if they double their fees, I'd still pay it. Not only do they take all that workload off my desk, I can relax knowing that someone is watching my back and my fear of getting arrested by the IRS has disappeared. Maybe it's me, but I'd hate to be in prison in the yard explaining to the other inmates that my crime was a faulty spreadsheet, as if embarrassment would be my greatest problem in prison. So I am a firm believer in hiring out and automating any system that will increase my professionalism and give me some of my time back to create art. So I pay an accountant and they also do my taxes. I pay for QuickBooks, a CRM system for my newsletter and customer database. I use Flash Issue. I subscribe to a legal cooperative in case I need some legal help and I use Legal Shield. And I have all of the productivity software applications, Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere, Dropbox, etc. I use the Google Drive every single day. And I use Artwork Archive, which has saved me countless times in organizing my artwork, collectors, and exhibitions and open calls. I seriously don't know what I would do without Artwork Archive. You may know that I spent 30 years as a librarian, which makes me keenly aware of the importance of organization to doing my job. But I've also learned that it's very easy to get so involved in creating systems that you can spend more time on maintaining the system than in doing the artwork. Keep an eye out for that trap. If you're spending more time organizing your art than creating your art, you need to back off a little. These systems are there to help you and your business, not dominate it. Remember that you're in control of these organizational tools. And if they're not helping, they should be abandoned for other systems that do do the job. I think that's particularly true of programs you pay for. There's a tendency to let the program dictate how you run your business. Or you may spend weeks trying to understand all of the features of a subscription service when only using a part of that and part of the functions would be more than enough to meet your organizational needs. Well, whether you address your business needs with paid online subscriptions, hired consultants, or do it by hand in a ledger book, realize that you do need to be hyper-organized in running your creative entrepreneurial business. Remember that it's the creative part of your business that is your passion, not the record keeping. Find effective strategies that can remove some of the barriers to doing that work that you love and get back to making beautiful things because that's what will sustain you after all.
In our quest to branch out seriously into social media marketing, Bogdan and I are starting something new. I already do a weekly blog, but I also do a weekly vlog, as you may well guess, and a video podcast. We've now started a weekly live show called Art Chat with John and Bogdan. It's a 30-minute show every Thursday morning at 11 o'clock Central Time on Zoom. Stop by sometime. We'd love to meet you in person. If you can't make it 11 a.m., don't worry, because we record the sessions and we post them on our YouTube channels. I'll put the link below. Well, join me next week when we talk more specifically about ideas on organizing your record keeping. I know, I know, exciting stuff, but you're going to have to wait. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.